folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our alley. Take it away. Thank you, Brian. Jimmy Butler has a single-minded focus. He said, I don't need an MVP. I don't care about anybody's opinion. No trophy means anything except for the Larry O'Brien. I want to be a champion. I mean that. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. I don't doubt him, Allie. Thanks very much. And two conference rivals facing off here. Grant, what were some of your fiercest rivalries at the NBA level? You know, when I was in Detroit, it had to be the Hawks and I think probably the Bulls. I think the Bulls were everybody's rival in the Eastern Conference back then. And then, of course, in Phoenix, we had some real battles with the Lakers. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler out there with Kevin Durant. Then it's Matisse Thibel. Then it's Kyle Lowry. And it's Adebayo in at the five. And for the Hornets, Ball and Rozier go. work together in the backcourt. Julius Randle out there with Mason Plumley, And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. Outside Durant. Outside Thibel. There's the triple. And there's the whistle. That'll go on Terry Rozier. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Hornets on D. Pass to Durant. Now here's Butler. Clock at six. Back to Durant. Shoots over Randall. It's wide right, hits off the rim. Oubre against Adebayo, ball outside. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. And it's out of bio. Off the drive for three. Lowry. The Hornets pull it in. First quarter, just over a minute play. Ball against Durant. Ball no good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Let's it fly. Durant, no good. Here's Charlotte. Up top, Rozier. Butler covering. Randall outside. Adebayo grabs the board. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession. Except for the result. You have to be impressed by Bam Adebayo's playmaking. B.A., he has great vision for a big man, and he helps this team as another initiator. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Here's Ball. Plumley a screen on Lowry. Ball passes to Plumley. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And Coach Steve Kerr of the Warriors, he said Adebayo reminds him of Draymond Green. You know the reason why, B.A., they both are elite ball handlers at the four position. They both anchor the defense on their team. Bam Adebayo's definitely on his way. And he ends up missing both free throws. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside. For 3, Lowry! And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Randall outside. Pass to Plumley. Ball outside. Over Durant. Ball no good. The Heat have gone just one of six to begin the game. Now Lowry. Now here's Adebayo. Durant way outside. And it's off from three-point range. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Ball 
ball, right side. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That'll be a second foul of the game. The question is, do you leave him in? Obviously, you don't want him to pick up a third foul this early. It's timeout call. In drive six to shoot pass to Rozier Bounce and there's just the one foul team. now away from the penalty fine ball that's his first personal foul and the third team foul and we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter Plumlee a screen on Lowry here's ball and a strong finish with two hands hey when in doubt Run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Now here's Butler. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Oubre on the wing. Butler covering. Oubre passes to Rozier. Tipped away. Out of bounds as Charlotte Out keeps possession. It remains Charlotte basketball. Just five on the clock. Now ball. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Inside. Here's Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Smart playmaking by Kyle. Moving the ball to a guy with a good look. Lowry against ball. Up and over Lowry. Count the basket. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Well, the Heat's shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Lowry against Ball, and it's stolen by Plumley. Ball with it. Driving to the basket, and in seven attempts, he's drained three. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Lowry outside. Pass to Thibel. Here's Durant. Gets it to go. Makes him two for five. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Now here's Ball. Going inside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. <laughs> I'll tell you, those 
Those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! Woo! The shot by Butler, no good. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Here's Randall. Oh, denied by Durant. Good aggression from KD on D. Hustling to get a hand on the shot. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. It's blocked. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Plumley, And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. So for the Hornets. Washington's checked in for Plumley. Simmons comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Westbrook in for LaMelo Ball. Westbrook. To the inside. And he's in the books. Now one for two. A solid all-around player. Jimmy Butler understands the importance of sharing the ball with open guys. Washington, a screen on Lowry. Here's Westbrook. Westbrook slams it in. Yeah, this is how powerful Westbrook is at the rim. Looking like he wants to tear the basket down. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam. Capturing the moment. Lowry outside. Pass to Butler. Lowry with a screen on Washington. Butler into the lane. Counted. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. The confidence of Jimmy. Feels like he can drive to the rim whenever he wants. Now here's Simmons. He's guarded closely. Nice D from Durant. And it's Miami's ball. He's guarded by Washington. Out to the wing. Lowry left side over Washington. Lowry no good. And for the Hornets, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Here's Westbrook. And Lowry with the defensive effort. And for the Heat, they're shooting 33% on the first quarter. Pass to Butler. Outside Tybalt. Lowry, right side. Five on the clock. The kick to Durant. 4-3. Sinks it from distance. Durant's got seven points in the game. Lethal outside shooter Kevin Durant hitting those threes with ease. And here's Westbrook. On the take. Got a hand on it. Out of bounds. And Charlotte keeps possession. Hornets ball. Thomas, he's checked in for Charlotte. Miami on D. It's a three-point game. From deep, here's Simmons. Geibel with the board. Miami has gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Hey, and the apple not falling far from the tree. Simmons' dad was a legendary player in Australia. And that's where Simmons says he really learned the value of team ball. At age 15, he played in a world championship there. Just invaluable to his early development. Four on the clock. This one for three. Not going to go that time. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. Westbrook finds Simmons. Back to Westbrook. Out left to the wing. Shot to in the cold streak. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. And it's big whenever Russ connects from deep. Needs to keep working on developing this shot. To the paint. Here's Whiteside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. P.J. Washington picks one up. Second team back. At the line for the Heat, Hassan Whiteside. That one misses. Over his first three seasons, Whiteside was no better than a 50% foul shooter. Much better technique from the line since then. 
Then he sinks the second. Charlotte trailing. Here's Thomas. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Outside Tybal. Lowry with a screen on Oubre. And again, the Heat missing. The Hornets shooting around 32% to begin this game. Two minutes remaining in the first. Lowry Two against Westbrook. Minutes. There's the drive. Here's Thomas. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Here's Thibault. Gets the three to fall. And the Heat lead by four. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. From deep, here's Simmons. It's hauled in by the Heat. Thibault's got four rebounds in the game. To the middle. Nice shot by Whiteside. And now a six-point Heat lead. The interior, this is where you want to get Whiteside the basketball. Now Simmons. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line. No good on the free throw. You know Simmons has put up with a lot of criticism about his game. But give him credit. He's a talented player who just wants to get better. Griffin, he's checked in for Washington. Miami shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Down low. And he makes it on the layup. Whiteside's got five points. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Griffin, a screen on Lowry. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. You don't see the finger roll that much anymore. But when you do, it's always a treat. Lowry, the pass to Whiteside. Here's Martin. Back to Whiteside. Left side, Thibault. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. The rebound by Ben Simmons. Charlotte has gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Pass to Westbrook. And he banks in the layup. Now just a three-point heat lead. Oh, 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 unlimited energy. That's what Westbrook brings. No problems bouncing off contact. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Heat up by three. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. League's best at drawing charges. Kyle Lowry explains what a difference that play makes. It's a real life momentum. You know, it really boosts myself, my team, and it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play, a dunk, a pass, an assist, or something. And it's like, no, that's not there. And it's a foul on the other guy. Maybe the star player, maybe the shot blocker, and maybe anybody. And that's what I do. I do whatever it takes to help my team win. He's as tough as they come, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he grew up in Philly, idolizing Allen Iverson. Lowry's tenacity and willingness to put his body on the line, actually reminiscent of Iverson's. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically moves the roof. We see that here early on. Setting the floor for the Heat. 
Matisse Thibel out there with Kyle Lowry. Then there's Kevin Durant. Then there's Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the center position, locking down the middle. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali the Force. Well, the Heat culture is all about work. And this roster is littered with overachievers. Jimmy Butler said, quote, the Miami Heat look for those diamonds in the rough. Players that are hungry. Players that have some dog in them and play for one another. These guys do what it takes to be in the league for a while. Brian? Boy, they compete, right, Allie? Thanks for that. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. Ball with it. Guarded by Adebayo. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Lowry, the pass to Durant. Puts it up from 15. Second chance effort. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You're going to have to foul Bam a lot harder than that if you want to prevent the end one. Plumlee's checked in for Simmons. And in crunch time, when the game is close, some players rise to the occasion, Smitty. Others tighten up. What do you think makes the difference? Well, first of all, a lot of it is confidence. But I think also you got to trust in your preparation. And a lot of guys are built for the moment, and some are not. And most of the guys built for the moment, they are superstars. Here's Thibel, following the bucket by the Hornets. Lowry outside. And he's going for the oop here. Oubre with a steal. Ball outside. Pass to Plumley. Denied by Adebayo. A huge block by Adebayo. Plays the game with aggression and shows no mercy. The Hornets making a switch here. Washington's checked in. Hornets. PJ Washington. Rogier finds ball. That three's off the mark. Miami trailing. Pass to Lowry. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. A capable score from all three levels. But what's really unique about Kyle Lowry is his physicality near the rim. He bullies defenders. That free throw good from Lowry. And something Lowry's always had, great strength. You know what? He helps set a physical tone for the team. That's what you expect from your seven-footer, not your six-footer. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Pumley a screen on Lowry. Here's Ball. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. And the chess match continues. Seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. Pass to Adebayo. Durant with it. He's guarded by Washington. Butler against Oubre. Butler can't get it to go. The Hornets have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Rozier with it. Guarded by Adebayo. Rozier can't get it to go. The Heat have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Adebayo finds Durant. Outside Butler. To the inside. Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. Lowry against Ball. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, book it again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. Durant, pass to Lowry, back to Durant. Lowry with a screen on Washington. Here's Durant, and he gets it to go. Durant's got nine. Boy, look at the concentration from KD. It's elite. What balance on the finish.
Bang! Your honeybee! Alright, fans! That was your honeybee! Make some noise! Charlotte's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Washington, a screen on Butler. On the attack, Oubre. And it's flushed down! A Ooh, nice jam! Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Adebayo. And here's Butler. Back to Adebayo. Six on the shot clock. The kick to Duran. Three-pointer off the mark. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Rogier, the pass to Plumley. Outside for Rogier. Ball outside. Back to Rogier. The three is up. Miami grabs the miss. Three on three. And he lobs it up. And finished off by Adebayo. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Otto Bio catches and finishes with ease. Ball against Lowry. Ball no good. Miami's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Stolen by Ball. On the wing, Rozier. Otto Bio with the rejection. They get it back. On the attack, Oubre over Butler. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got nine rebounds now. Durant's shot is off. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Here's Ball. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. It's stolen by Washington. On the wing, Rozier. He's guarded by Lowry. Hook loose. It's stolen by Thibel. And the call will be against Kelly Oubre. That's his first foul of the game. Randall, he's checked in for Charlotte. And the third team foul. Outside Thibel. Pass to Adebayo. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And you know, Grant Bam out of Bio expanding his offensive game. He's got a legitimate shot. He's a legitimate threat from mid-range now. I mean, out of Bio, he takes a lot of shots from mid-range. He does a good amount of damage with his shot. You figure it's just a matter of time before those become three-point attempts. Westbrook, he's checked in for Charlotte. Thomas comes in for LaMelo Ball. Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career. Charlotte, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. Here's Thomas. With the drive. 
And here's Westbrook from the arc. Hits the trifecta. Westbrook's got 10. I don't think I need to tell anybody. Westbrook is a gunner. If the D isn't right up on him, when he gets the ball, he's taking that shot for sure. Now here's Butler. Adebayo, a screen on Oubre. Pass to Thibel. And here's Adebayo. He's covered by Oubre. Down to five on the shot clock. Lowry left side. Randall with a steal. Westbrook against Butler. The baseline J is off the mark. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Out of bio with it. Pounded by Westbrook. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Westbrook with it. Pass to Randall. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Nice rhythm on that play, and Randall with the smooth-looking shot. The Heat have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. To the paint. Here's Adebayo. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Pass to Oubre. Now here's Washington. Puts the move on. Out of bio with the rejection. Butler with the ball. Oubre picks him up. Butler can't get it to go. Charlotte has gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Now here's Randall. Stolen by Lowry. And here's Adebayo. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. It's not just that you can run the offense through Adebayo. In many cases, it's their best option. Now here's Randall. Westbrook left side. Back to Randall. No good that time. And Miami will go the other way with it. Now out of bio. He's got 15. He buries it from three. And now a seven-point heat lead. And Lowry has no problem setting up teammates. He strikes a good balance between passing and scoring. Here's Thomas. He's guarded by Lowry. Man, a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Heat. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. Another thing they've been doing right from the start is converting a lot of second-chance baskets. Those can be hard to get sometimes. The Hornets making a switch here. Simmons is checked in. Here's Lowry. Uses the glass on the layup. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Westbrook. Ten points for him. Stolen by Lowry. Inside, here's Thibault, off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Thomas, he's guarded by Lowry. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. The first free throw is good. Isaiah Thomas at the line for two. Both good from the line that time. The Heat with the lead. Lowry outside. Back to Thibel. Lowry with a screen on Westbrook. Now here's Thibel. Guarded closely. Fires from 14. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. 
the assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pass to Oubre. Into the lane. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said David titles Martin. won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. A different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. Here's Simmons. And it's in there. The paint is where Simmons excels at finding points. He knows how to own the inside. Pass to Martin. Lowry outside. Back to Thibel. 24 seconds left in the second. Six to shoot. Here's Lowry. Hornets with the rebound. Randall's got five rebounds in the game. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Here's Westbrook. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Hassan Whiteside. Yeah, and the intensity Russ plays with is exceptional. When he goes hard inside, it forces the to back. And the Heat making a change here. Hornets! Russell Westbrook! Taking two shots. He hits the second from the line. When I think of Westbrook, I think of one of the most intense players ever to play the game. A true competitor doing whatever it takes to will his team to a win. Bam Adebayo has been leading the charge for the Heat between the scoring and rebounding. An excellent period. All right, now let's check in with Ali LaForce. Ali, what do you have? Coach, it's been a hard-fought game. A lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we got we to gotta make sure we're dominating those areas uh, and then make some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. Paul and Rozier work together in the backcourt. Kelly Oubre out there with Julius Randle. And it's Plumley in at the five spot. That's the Hornets five. What a beautiful look. Randall continues to round out his game in the prime of his career. Lowry to pass to Durant. Let's go with a three. Lowry, no good. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Here's Randall. And it's blocked by Thibel. And so it looks like the Hornets will retain possession here. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. On defense, the Heat. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's foul number two for him. Well, Miami shooting pretty well at 45%. Lowry, the pass to Durant. 
And for those tuning in, we're about a minute into this second half. And a bio, no good. The Hornets have gone just one of three in the second half. Randall, a screen on Butler. Oubre passes to Plumley. Here's Ball. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And you think about the draft profile of LaMelo Ball. Grant, the court vision has been as good as advertised. I mean, he's just a gifted passer who sees over defenders. He enjoys making those flashy plays. He's been everything you want from a playmaker. And the second free throw is good. The Heat have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Pass to Butler. He takes it in. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got five assists in the game. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Ball passes to Oubre. Handle the screen on Butler. And the call will be against Kelly Oubre. That's foul number two for him. A great job to establish position and square up. And here are the Heat now. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Adebayo, a screen on Randall. Durant, pass to Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. The emergence of Adebayo as a score. This franchise has to be ecstatic. Adebayo against Ball. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside Durant. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And he can't get that one. On the attack, Oubre. Rozier outside. Randall on the screen. Rozier, the pass to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Anytime you can get Randall moving toward the rim, that's a good thing. For Miami, they've got just two of six in the second half. On the wing, Durant. Looking to get it going. And Durant slams it home. When you're that long and that athletic, I'll tell you, KD has the ability to put a little extra on it. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Ball with it. 15 points in the game. Handle a screen on Lowry. And it's ball off the drive. Here's Randall. Tries again. And the layup is good. Randall's gotten four this quarter. You want to talk about bully ball? Randall at 250 pounds overpowering the field. Lowry finds Durant. There's the drive. And Durant with the big finish. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Ball against Adebayo. Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Adebayo. To the middle. Here's Thibault. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Mason Plumley. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. Shooting for Miami. Matisse Thibault. Going to the line, shooting two. No good on the second free throw. For Charlotte, they've gone four of eight in the third. Rozier against Butler. Rozier gets the bucket. Now just a three-point heat lead. The craftiness of Rozier. Unpredictable in these screener rolls, and he uses this to his advantage. Pass to Thibault. 
inside Durant. Over Plumley. Miami, no good that time either. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Kevin Durant. Personal. The rugged nature of Randall's game, just daring defenders to foul him. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Miami. What tremendous passing we've seen from them today. A very unselfish performance all around. They've also worked very hard to get the ball inside and have been able to get and hit a lot of high percentage shots in this game. When it comes to addressing his weaknesses, the right hand, the range. Randall has put in the work. Pass to Thibel. Outside Durant. Sinks the tray. Durant's got seven now in this quarter. One this half, two for the game. Staying active from beyond the arc. And it's ball off the drive. Finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. It's a tight contest. Those type of plays can fire up your team and swing momentum. Durant for three. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Butler's got his fourth assist in this one. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Ball passes to Pumley. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And there's the call. Miami with the foul. For Charlotte. Mason. And that free throw misses. They aren't making anything at the line today. This is a team that struggles at the line. Washington's checked in for Julius Randle. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. The Heat have gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Rozier against Lowry. Pass to Martin. Outside Durant. And he hits the jump shot. And now it's a nine-point Heat lead. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Inside, here's Washington. And Washington powers it through. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Miami has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Martin. Durant against Plumley. It's Durant with a drive. And it's slammed in by Durant. The long strides of Durant gliding through the lane. Throw it down, big fella. Who wants a Ben Simmons is checked in for Plumley. Westbrook comes in for Oubre. And it's Thomas in for Ball. And Miami with a change here, too. Whiteside, he's checked in for Butler. For Charlotte, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Here's Thomas. He can't get it to go. And Lowry with the defensive effort. Out to the right wing. Back to Duran. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Durant's got 17 points here in the second half. Simmons with a screen on Lowry. 
Driving inside. Thomas, that's good. More interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Simmons against Durant. And he takes that one up and powers it through. The playmaking skills of Kevin Durant on display. Capable of whipping passes to open teammates. Washington, a screen on Lowry. Thomas, that's good. Thomas has gotten four this quarter. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Lowry, right side. Up top, Durant, pounded by Westbrook. Back to Durant. Here's Whiteside. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Whiteside's got seven. This is where you want Whiteside finishing. In close where he can use his strength and physicality. Washington, a screen on Lowry. Thomas, that one's good for two. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said, one thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Locking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. Charlotte is shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Westbrook, the pass to Simmons. Slammed up by Simmons. I'll tell you, excellent vision from Westbrook. He's no stranger to pick and roll execution. Pass to Martin. To the paint. Whiteside gets the double team. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Deadman's checked in for Miami. Team Pizza Petition. Dwayne Deadman. Right side, Simmons defending. Right side against Simmons. High post right side. Shot clock at five. Pass to Deadman. The shot won't fall. And the Hornets going the other way now. Now here's Rozier. Down low. Here's Washington. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Washington a screen. It's hauled in by the Heat. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Lowry outside. Takes it inside. And it's good. Two points. Lowry's got six. Kyle Lowry isn't tall, but he is fearless going down there in the lane. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Thomas. He's guarded by Lowry. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Durant against Westbrook. Washington, a screen on Durant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. And the Hornets making a change here. Griffin's checked in. Two shots. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And he drives in. Thomas. Pass to Simmons. That one goes. Count it. He's got seven. Physical defense, not a problem for Simmons. His strength is one of his assets. Now Whiteside. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Whiteside with a screen on Westbrook. Durant, the pass to Whiteside. The Hornets pull it in. Here's Thomas. To the inside. 
and Griffin gets it to go. Griffin's got seven. He has the ability to get hit, stay up in the air, and to finish the play. That's Blake Griffin. Lowry finds Durant. Here's Whiteside. Stolen by Rozier. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Thomas misses. And stolen by Simmons. Westbrook against Durant. And finished off by Westbrook. You can't give Westbrook a lane like this. You're just asking to get dunked on when you do. And here's Durant. And the layup is good. Durant's got 28. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Charlotte. Charlotte calls timeout. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. This guy is killing you. And so far, I haven't seen a good adjustment defensively. All right. Look who's coming to the court. Come on and get back. has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be right back with you shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. Game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Setting the floor for Miami. They've got Bam out of bio. Kyle Lowry out there with Matisse Thibel. Then there's Butler. I mean, drafted 14th in the 2017 draft. Bam Adebayo has outperformed most of the players in his class. Now here's Ball. Pass to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. The Heat with the lead. Up top, Lowry. Simmons defending. And there's the call on the mellow ball. That's his third foul so far. First team foul. Now 
Pass to Adebayo. And Blake Griffin is going to pick up the foul. Blake That's his Griffin. first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Lowry against Simmons. Leans inside. And after just a fantastic first half, he's really having trouble finding that shooting stroke. Randall on the screen. Oubre passes to Randall. And stolen by Adebayo. Lowry outside. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Butler. Unable to get that one. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal foul. That's on Jimmy Butler. The officials were right on top of that one. First one falls for him. For your Hornets, Mark Mello Ball. At the line for two. He's perfect from the line this time. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Here's Lowry. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, it's hard to talk about Lowry without mentioning his fantastic defense. And in a game this close, they're going to challenge the call. Coach does not agree with it, and he wants them to take another look at the monitor. People were worried that this would slow the action down. The previous play is under the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Out of bio against Griffin. And he's going for the lob! And out of bounds. Out of bounds. Charlotte will have it. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Charlotte trailing. Now Simmons. Pass to Oubre. Three-pointer. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The Heat have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. And here's Adebayo. to shoot. Pass to Thibault. With the 10-footer. Hornets with the rebound. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Randall, a screen on Butler. Oubre passes to Griffin. Launches a three. It's not going to go for him. Now the Heat take it the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Pass to Adebayo. Back to Butler. Adebayo a screen on ball. Butler with the ball. Picked up by Griffin. Butler can't get it to go. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Ball. And too long on the shot. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Adebayo passes to Lowry. Down low. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. Ball with it. Oubre on the wing. Pass to Griffin. Now here's Ball. Randall, a screen on Butler. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, good whistle there. Second team foul. And that one falls for Ball. Kevin Durant, he's checked in four out of bio. Mello. Ball. Taking two shots. 
And so Ball nails both of them. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. There's no way Coach likes this effort level. They need to refocus. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. You look for them to come out much more aggressive. in for Charlotte. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. As this game enters its final moments, he told his guys to keep their cool, saying, quote, no sloppy play. Let's stay true to what we do best. We're almost there, gentlemen. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Durant. Trying to get back on track. That shot missing. Good D by Simmons. The Hornets have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Griffin, a screen on Durant. Simmons, the pass to Griffin. Yes! And that's Simmons with the assist. And that makes it a tie ball game. Blake did a nice job of setting the pick, rolling, catching it, and finishing it. To the paint. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Now here's Westbrook. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Such a dynamic playmaker. Westbrook forcing the issue, getting to the strike. That free throw, no good. Line for your Hornets. Russell Westbrook at the line for two. That one's no good. The Heat have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. And Dybul with a drive. He got a piece of it. Griffin has great timing. That's the reason why he blocked that shot. Randall, a screen on Butler. Ball passes to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. And that's a double-double for him now. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. And for Miami, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. Pass to Theibel. Now here's Durant. They double-team Durant. To the middle. Here's Butler. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And the Heat lead by two. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hand. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. And Miami has possession. Following the bucket by the Hornets. Oh, I don't believe that. He's better than that. Come on. There's a screen. Here's Randall inside to take the lead. And it's laid in by Simmons. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Well, Miami shooting 27% here in the fourth. Durant against Randall. Lowry to pass to Durant to the inside. Soft touch off the glass. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. And here's Charlotte. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Pass to Simmons. Butler with a steal. Lowry with it. Back to Butler. 
Lowry outside. Now Durant, hounded by Ball. Here's Randall Simmons with a screen on Lowry. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I mean, there's a lot of natural power to Randall's game. He's a handful in there. The free throw drops for Randall. Plumley's checked in for Griffin. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And so here is Miami, trailing by two. Looking to end this cold spell. Lowry, no good. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's Westbrook. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Hornets. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. We also see the points have come off penetration. They've been aggressive breaking down the defense. Now here's Lowry. Driving in. Shoots from the right block. Pumley pulls down the board. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Randall, a screen on Lowry. Ball passes to Plumley. Three-pointer. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Lowry. Now here's Thibel, pounded by Westbrook. Randall against Butler. Shoots over Randall. Again, the Heat misses. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Simmons with it. Durant covering. Simmons, the pass to Ball. Outside for Randall. Just five to shoot. Here's Plumley. And he gets the bucket. And the Hornets lead by five. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Outside Durant. Butler, a screen on Randall. To the middle. And there's Butler. That one's good. On the assist from Durant. You love how fearless Butler can be. Charging through contact to get his shot. Randall, a screen on Lowry. Westbrook, the pass to Randall. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. It'll be a jump ball. Take it away. Durant against Randall to the paint. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Hornets have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside Butler. Lowry outside. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Randall's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Lowry against Westbrook. Pass to Plumley. Randall outside. Back to Plumley. Westbrook with it. To the wing on the left. Dybul with a steal. Fast break Miami. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Fiery play by Kyle Lowry. Drawing the foul and still putting up his shot. And the first one at the line is good. And the Heat making a change here. Adebayo's checked in. So he gets them both. No doubt about those free throws. This is why you put the ball in his hands. And here's Ball. Pass to 
Westbrook. Back to ball. Shot clock at six. Down low. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. If you let Julius Randall get to the rim, this is what you can expect. Miami trailing. On the wing, Durant. And he lobs it up top. And finished off by Adebayo. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Now here's Westbrook. One forty-four left in the fourth. Ball finds Westbrook. To the inside. To the wing, right side. Dimel with a steal. And here we go, the heat fast break. Here's Lowry. Deflected. Ball outside. One eleven left in the final quarter. That one falls. Ball's got nine points here in the second half. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. An incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Now here's Randall. Westbrook outside. Here he goes. No good there. And it's Miami the other way. Up top, Durant. Hounded by ball. Durant. Pass to Butler. And out of bounds. And Charlotte will have it. Oh, my goodness. He's kicking himself. You know, that's a critical time to commit a turnover. No telling how the error will ultimately play out. 20 seconds left in the final quarter. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right now. So the first one drops. And that'll put them up two. At the line for your Hornets. And so he drops them both. And it's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. Randall pulls down the board. The thing is, you want to do everything you can to help your team. And sometimes you just try to do too much. Team is in the Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. For your Hornets, Julius Randall at the line. Four, two. 
And he ends up making the second. And that gives him a four-point cushion. The loudest and craziest fan, set a free There's 14 seconds left to play in the fourth. And it's in. You know that he's always going to find a way to get the ball in tight situations like that and knock it down. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. That's his third personal foul. At the line. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. Ben Simmons. So he comes up empty, missing both. Oh. That could have been the end of it. Instead, he hands them a lifeline. Deflects the pass. Outside Butler. Off target from downtown. And that's an intentional foul. Bam out of bio. That's his fourth personal foul. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. Ben Simmons. At the line for two. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. And so the big win by Charlotte in a tight game. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame everyone in your team. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Julius, it wasn't always smooth sailing tonight, but you guys got it done. How did you feel about the level of play coming down the stretch? Uh, absolutely amazing. You know, there's ups and downs of the season, but, you know, one thing is we're going to play hard every night and give ourselves a chance. So uh, we did that for most of the night, but, you know, we did an amazing job staying together. The effort certainly was not lacking tonight. Thanks, Julius. Allie, thank you as always. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball.